the perfect law firm website. How do you go, Funnel Family? Hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the perfect law firm website, things that you can learn, that you can implement for your own law firm website. So make sure to stick around and take advantage of it. All right, let's go to the intro. <laughs> Today I'll be sharing with you my own website and please before I even share it with you let me just address I do not want people copying exactly what I do and when it comes to my websites but please use it as a model to help you create your own law firm website I've t I'm taking seven years of experience uh, reviewing hundreds and even thousands of, of different law firm websites to be able to learn about conversions funnel concepts things that help me create my own website and I'll be sharing these lessons with you but please again use it as a model to be able to help you with your own uh, law firm website. All right, let's go to the screen. All right, so the most important part uh, when you get to a website, first of all, is what's called above the fold. As soon as the page loads, you, you usually need to answer three questions, okay? Who are you helping? How are you helping them? And what the next step that people should take in order that you can help them, okay? So again, the who, the how, and the what, essentially. All right, so I mean, make sure that your headline, there should be a one clear headline that addresses that, you know. So mine is start your online biz uh, business without dealing with conflict of legal forms. And it's very crystal clear. What I want people to do is to click on that call to action button right here. Start my business now. Okay, so make that super crystal clear. Make sure you have a very clear headline with a sub headline with a clear call to action. This is fundamental website one on one. You, at the very least, sorry about that. At the very least, you need that on your website. Um, so first easy win that you can do, again, look at your own website. Again, I don't want you just learning about this. Go compare this to your own website. Am I checking off all these things that Sham and Sam is sharing with, uh, sharing with me? Clear headline, sub headline at most, and then a clear button, clear call to action that tells people what to do next. Also, very important, above the fold is you need to have social proof, either testimonial, or some icons and things that that tells the person hey this person is legit this person has authority this person other people have their services and it kind of gives builds up trust with that potential client okay so make sure just like for example I have a testimonial right here and I also have my you know my Google reviews how many reviews I have my Alvo super lawyers all that as soon as the page loads so again this is called uh, above the fold next is you want to talk about the problem that your potential clients have. Okay. So what is, you got to ask yourself, what is the biggest problem that my clients have? And you want to address that directly. So mine is don't get stuck starting your online business. And then, then some of the specific problems that people have when they get to my website. Okay. So address the problem. That should be the second section you have on your website. And then after that, and this is something that's very crucial is you need to have social proof, testimonials and reviews. That right away, when people first, uh, when people try to make a decision about you, first they're thinking about, you know, does this person seem legit? Okay, so it's very important to display your best testimonials. The best testimonials you can get is video testimonials, and then some screenshots, and then also you could display your Google reviews. So on this page, and I'll should be sharing with you uh, that you'll be seeing the rest of it. Is you'll see a lot of different types of testimonials. The first, the first one is my best testimonials, which is my video testimonials. And what I do is I give context to, to, to the video testimonials. Most people that see this section, they don't want, they don't sit there and watch the videos. Instead, they just read the text. Hey, and they just assume that the testimonial is real and it is real. And if they want, if they want to explore more, then be able to go and click on to watch the video testimonial. Okay, so the very good way whenever you, should, you when you do display video testimonials, make sure you to give a context to it by adding some a little summary of what they say right below it, and then say who was by, and if you can describe who that potential client is, even better. Next is I make it very clear what services I offer. Okay, so if you have you know, one service or three services, make sure you make that crystal clear how you can help your potential clients. Okay, little icon and a short little description. That's it, keep it simple. And usually whenever you display any kind of information, always make sure that you have the either, you illustrate it either in one or three. Okay, one or three, the rules are one and three. Uh, people, whenever you're trying to convey a message, people are able to understand things either when if you share one at a time or three at a time. Okay, so and usually two is 
your mind doesn't know which one to choose so it kind of struggles but three is a little bit clear your, your mind can understand things in threes so if it, it's a perfect place you know whenever you have the, you talk about the benefits or what you offer things like that always break it down into three or one but never two or four okay so one or three and then also show your potential clients how it how easy it is to take the first steps uh, and be able to hire you okay so for me it's as easy as book your free zoom call tell us about your business and then launch your business okay so make it very easy what those fa first steps are and now here comes the moody the me the, the juicy part of my website which is kind of some good copywriting skill and again, I start off with the problem. I don't know what to do. Which form do I fill out? Am I doing this correctly? These are the most common problems our clients face when they're starting their business on their own. We help all these specific types of people. And again, more of the, about the problem. Starting business is complicated and confusing. And then explain what, what we do. And then some social proof. A little, uh, little short paragraph about when I started and kind of like my story. And then some social proof. How many entrepreneurs I've been able to help. How many reviews I have. And it makes it very clear what their call to action should be. You know, join over 6,200 entrepreneurs who have trusted our service to start their business. Click the button below to take the first step now. Very close to clear. I want them what to do next. Next is another more social proof section. It shows that my law firm is real. It's legit. Hey, these are the people that will help you with your business. Okay, so these are the people that work for our company. So that makes us legit. And then more reviews. Hey, here's a screenshot of how many reviews we have. And then I use this little uh, WordPress uh, plugin called reviews in my website it basically embeds all my google reviews onto my website so that's how i'm able to display these types of reviews and then also offer a lead magnet hey if you want to get this amazing guide about five biggest mistakes to avoid when starting your llc and then i link out to my blog articles and then more reviews and even screenshots of more reviews and then I also ended off with an faq why because people have questions so you want to address those questions before they come and uh, they come and hire you. So make sure you have an FAQ section on your website. Last part of the page. Make sure again you have one last section that tells them to take action now. So a call to action again. And if you I don't know if you noticed as I was scrolling down, the call to action is very clear. Same call to action. Start my business now. Start my business now. Start my business now. All throughout it, the same call to action throughout, and it makes it super crystal clear that this is what they should do now. And that leads to your funnels whole different conversation which we, we could talk about in another video but again these are kind of like the necessary sections of your website that you need to have um so if you need you know i just i try to went, went through it pretty fast but maybe you should go to the beginning of the video again and make sure that you have every single one of these sections the more and complete and more comprehensive these sections that you have and the more social proof and testimonies and reviews that you have on your website that you higher the conversion rate more people will be able to book uh, book a call with you or give you a call. So make sure to, again, go and take lessons from what I just shared with you and do something about it. I don't want you just passively learning about this. Go apply this for your own law firm website. And again, please don't copy me. Exactly. Um, just, you know, take these lessons and be able to create it for yourself. Okay. If this was helpful for you, if this is valuable for you, please take this moment and give this video a like. And again, if you are a law firm owner and you haven't subscribed yet, take this moment to right now to subscribe right now below. There'll be a lot more value videos just like this. And I'll be showing you the best funnels for each type of practice area. Everything about client generation, automation, virtual assistants, everything you need to help you run your most successful law firm. All right. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.